So I bought this stock, Aegis Logistics, at about 200 rupees a piece, and now it's at about 280. Not bad for about four months' return. But. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep, and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, we're going to take a quick update of the stock of Aegis Logistics of their Q1 FY23. Let's get started. So first of all, usual disclaimer here, I'm not a SEBI registered advisor or a certified financial planner. I'm just a person who has made a reasonable amount of money by investing in the stock market. If you want to make your own investments, you should do your own market research. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about Aegis Logistics. If you didn't know, Aegis Logistics is a leading logistics player duh, in the oil, gas and chemical space in India. I've already made a video about this company when I opened my position a couple of months back. i link to that right below the like button. And while you're there, please do subscribe to this channel and give that notification bell a ding. Anyway, I've divided this video up into three parts. The first part, let's talk about valuation. Yay. The second part, let's talk about Q1 FY23. And the third part, let's talk about consensus future estimates. Let's jump into the video. Let's start this video by talking about the valuation of this stock. For this example, we are going to be using the discounted cash flow method. Before you fall asleep, understand this. Discounted cash flow method works on the principle that a dollar in the future is worth less than a dollar today. As per Warren Buffett, if you are able to understand the future cash flows of a company up till judgment day and then discount them back to the present value, you will be able to arrive at the correct valuation of that particular stock. Now, in the case of discounted cash flow method, you have two numbers that you have to be aware of. The first is the present value of future cash flows for the next 10 years. Basically, in the next 10 years, the company is going to have high growth. After that, you'll have to take the present value of future cash flows after the 10 years during which the company will have steady growth. In the case of Aegis Logistics, if you take the present value of future cash flows, it comes to about 40 billion Indian rupees. That's about 4,000 crores for people who are keeping track. And then if you take the present value of their terminal value, it comes to about 60 billion Indian rupees or about 6,000 crores. If you add them both and then divide them by the current number of shares outstanding, you will arrive at the share price of 269 Indian rupees. So yeah, the company is a little bit overvalued at its current price. However, I think it's justified. Then let's talk about Q1 FY23. For those of you who are not in this country, in India, Q1 FY23 basically means April to June of calendar year 2022. Yeah, I know we're kind of weird like that, right? Anyway, if you take Q1 FY23 of this company, their PAT or profit after tax went up by 49% to over 107 crores. Also their EBITDA or earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization went up by 43% to over 164 crores and their revenue went up to over 2,235 crores. That's versus 678 crores in the same quarter the previous year. Overall, if you look at the quarter, the entire quarter is up by 50%. If you look at their historical average of 15%, this is a pretty spectacular quarter. For the third part of this video, let's talk about consensus future estimates. Basically, you have analysts at various investment banks whose job it is to understand a company day in and day out and make future predictions. Sometimes they are wrong. Anyway, analysts in this particular case have said that the revenue estimate is increased by over 20% to 86 billion Indian rupees or about 8,600 crores. Also, their EPS or earnings per share remains unchanged at about 11 rupees per share. I think that's because of rising input costs. And if you take their net income, it's supposed to grow by 9% odd versus the industry of about 0.7% of the oil and gas industry in India. So yeah, this company is going to grow at a pretty spectacular rate compared to the rest of the industry. I'm not the only one who's bullish about the stock of Aegis Logistics. You have a price target of over 315 rupees at their current stock price that implies an upside of almost 15%. I think this company is something that you do well to buy and hold for the long run. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.